Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to write a switch statement in C++ and the example I'm going to use is I prompt the user to enter an option between A, B and C and if it's A, the user gets a banana, if it's B, the user gets an orange, if it's C, the user gets an apple. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I declare a variable of type char called option, then I prompt the user to select an option A, B or C, then I read in the value into the option variable. And next I'll use a switch statement. So I have the keyword switch, I'll close parentheses and after that a block. Inside the parentheses I always have a variable and what the switch statement does is it takes the variable and compares it to constants that are defined here. So to cases essentially. So we have the case A, we have a case B, and we have a case C. And optionally we can also add a default case. So default is if none of these matches then we execute statements in the default case. After each colon we can write statements. For example here you get a banana and then we need the break statement. And let's add the same for the B case. You get an orange and also a break statement. And then for the C case, you get an apple and also a break statement. And here we output invalid option and we may or may not add a break statement. So what does this break statement do? Essentially what it does is if we enter any of the cases it executes this the statements inside the case. So for A it would output you get a banana and maybe any other statements that exist until it hits a break statement. The break statement causes it to break out of the switch statement. So the program flow would continue after the switch statement. If this statement, if the break statement wouldn't be there and the user entered A, it would match the case A, it would enter here, the switch statement, it would execute, you get a banana, and then fall through to the next case. Even though the case doesn't match, it will no longer check. So the cases here are really just the the ones that check if the program flow can enter the switch. The fall through happens, it, it, it doesn't check anymore. So if it's A, it would execute this, it would execute this, and then break out. Now if we don't have this break statement as well, it would execute this, fall through to B, execute it, fall through to C. So for example, let's enter uppercase A here. You can see we executed all three until we hit the break. So it is important that we add the break statements, that we only execute the statements inside each case. Now let's enter something invalid. Let's enter K. That's an invalid option. So we went to the default case. Now let's say we want to import except lowercase letters as well. We can take advantage of this fall through option. So we can add a case A, we could output you get a banana and break. This would be maybe the most uh, trivial way of adding it. However, we have duplicated code. We have it's all the code is exactly the same like uppercase A. So what we can do, we can remove this code. Now if it's lowercase A, it would enter here, there are no statements, that is okay. And we fall through to the uppercase A. So in this case we fall through and output banana. So if I run this and I enter lowercase A, you can see it fell through to the uppercase A and then execute it, you get a banana. Hit the break and continued. So let's add this to the other letters as well. 
So 4-2 is basically, if there's no break, we enter the case and we just fall through the to the next one. So the default statement here, I mentioned it's optional and it can be anywhere. Let's say if it's an invalid option, we just give that person an orange. So we can put it, for example, up here. Now we don't put a break statement, so we'll just fall through to lowercase b. That would fall through to uppercase b. And if we run this, and say an invalid option is g, we still get our orange. So the default case is optional and it can be anywhere where we need it. So this compares to if statements, an if statement essentially compares equality to an exact constant value. So here we compare exactly to lowercase a, exactly to uppercase b, uh, uppercase a, exactly to lowercase b, uppercase b. In that sense, it's similar to an if statement. What we can do with an if statement is we cannot put the else block anywhere. The else block is always at the end of this if statement, whereas the default block can be anywhere in a switch statement. And for an if statement, we don't have the fall through option. So if a condition is true for an if, we always execute only that particular if statement. And for all the other blocks, we would only execute if the condition is true. Versus here, we can fall through no matter if the next case matches the value. I hope this gives you an understanding how switch statements work in C++. Thank you for watching.